Hello, welcome to the channel, and today we'll be doing week three of the biggest and most important games of the week, um, potentially season-defining games at this point. I mean, three weeks in, you got a lot going on, um, but we'll just start off right away. Friday night, September 13th, when the schedule came out, this was the game I circled immediately, and I was like, this game, I need to make sure I'm at home, uh, you know, no distractions, a little cold one with my hand, and watching this game out. Arizona, Kansas State, Friday night. 8 o'clock, Fox, uh, local time, probably 7 o'clock. Yeah, Friday, September 13th um, in Bill Snyder Family Stadium, Manhattan, Kansas. Noah Fifta, or Fafita and Tierita McClellan on the road. One of the best one-two duos in football last year. Uh, we, you know, if you tune into BCS podcast on this channel, we always talk about how Arizona was America's team. You know, maybe Michigan sometimes, but I'm a little biased, obviously. But um, one of the most fun teams. Uh, they started off slow, went real hot. And this is a great statement game. Obviously, new conference. It's their first conference game on the road against Kansas State, defending champion Kansas State. Um, so, well, not last year, two years ago, but, you know, one of the favorites to win the conference this year. Um, you know, Will Howard out. Uh, Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson? Uh, Avery. the Avery kid. I'm sorry. I think it's Johnson. But Avery is in long hair, blonde mullet uh, with the curly hair, dual threat quarterback, really good. Um, and they bring back some more talent with that, but you know, obviously losing the quarterback's a big thing. Um, but they look to have a good statement win at home as well, right? Kleiman's trying to do his thing. Um, a big win at home, new team in the conference. You're not going to let a new team come to your conference and into your house and beat you as a, on a as a road favorite, uh, as a home favorite, excuse me, by eight points. Um, this will be a big one. You know, can that offense translate? Obviously, a lot of turnover with Jed Fish leaving at Arizona. Um, the new coach comes in. Can he anchor the ship? Can you build on a crazy offense with some good defense, uh, get some stops and make it happen? Kansas State, really tough team to beat, let alone at home, let alone as a favorite, let alone on a Friday night. They'll sell this place out. Um, this game is going to be just as good in basketball as it will be in football, but obviously we're worried about football right now. Um, Gus Johnson will be going crazy on this game for sure and uh, just cannot wait for this one to happen. I'd imagine Kansas State will win, but I think it's going to be crazy. Uh, there is no total out for this game. Kansas State is a seven half point favorite, like I said, um, but I imagine it'll be a pretty high total. Um, both teams probably in the high 20s, maybe low 30s as well. So um, definitely, definitely excited for this one. Um, one of the fun games, you know, I don't want to say it because I hate conference expansion, but this is one of the fun advantages of conference expansion is you get fun games like this early on in the season in the conference. Moving to Sunday, uh, the first game we have on here is LSU South Carolina uh, on ABC. It's a similar to a game. Uh, I know I talked about LSU earlier. Uh, we won't talk about them as much. Um, but again, if you beat USC, assuming this is your first game on the road, travel into the coast, early noon game, you know, LSU, they always joke is a tough game early, uh, tough to play early, tough for the players to get up, especially at home, but at least you're on the road here. Um, first conference game, I'd assume, at home for South Carolina for the year. Um, Beamer needs to get some big wins. Yeah, beating LSU would be a great win at home. Um, you know, the, what is it? Drew Sandstorm and the, and the towels will be flying at Williams Bryce Stadium. Can they get it going for this game? I think so. Um, you know, th th this would be a great game for him to trap. Probably a trap spot, maybe a rat line. I'd imagine maybe like an LSU favorite by like three and everyone will take them. And it's going to be like a close classic game for uh, South Carolina. But it'd be a great line in the sand. And again, kind of like what I was saying week one for Billy Napier. People are kind of getting on Shane Beamer a bit. I know he's had some tough and tough times in the recruiting trail, um, but you know I'm probably going to go with the Gamecocks. Is a big upset, I'd imagine, in this one um, from a talent-wise and odds perspective, probably a big upset. But keeping it close, uh, you know, obviously doesn't help for the fan base, but maybe it will with job security. But I got to go with my cousin uh, and Phil. Shout out Taft, and we're going to get uh, hopefully a win here for the South Carolina boys. Big game though, uh, ABC at noon. Catch LSU sleeping maybe early. Maybe a little uh, South Carolina first quarter, first half money line spread type deal if you're uh, in the gambling side of things. I think that could be a good thing to do there. Um, then we move to the game of the week, probably the, not probably, definitely the Fox big noon kickoff, Alabama. Once Saban leaves, they make a crazy move. They're coming on up to Wisconsin. They're going to be jumping around at Camp Randall. They're a 10-point favorite coming into uh, Wisconsin. I'll tell you right now. Probably would have been a closer game if Wisco was uh, uh, still the team of old with the big trenches and uh, roughing up the guys there. But, um, you know, hey, the air raid at home, can they uh, make a huge statement win against Alabama? Yeah. Uh, first true road game uh, uh, for um, the career of DeBoer at Alabama replacing Saban. You know, this is the type of game, you know, you might have a lot of pressure in, right? You lose this game, the fan base is on your ass. 
immediately. You have a tough SEC schedule behind. You can't be losing to Wisconsin, right? Fickle's a tough game coach. You know, he played Ohio State tough last year with a significantly lesser roster. Will he be able to do the same with Alabama? Who knows? Uh, I think this is a, a game where everyone's going to take Alabama money line, but I think Wisconsin will keep it close. It might be a fake close game, you know, like where they score late kind of as a garbage time type of thing if it's a backdoor cover. Um, and it might be a comfortably Alabama game the whole time, but can you imagine the scenes if if they cut to the third quarter and they're jumping around? Wisconsin's in a one point game or one score game either way. Man, that'd be crazy. That'd really get the boys up. And uh, it's an early season, uh, very rare SEC Big Ten matchup. You know, uh, I know Michigan, Texas is a good one, but uh, Alabama, Wisconsin, two traditional uh, Big Ten and SEC teams would do a lot for the narratives on Twitter and, and for uh, the 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 you know coach uh armchair gms and the espn talking heads so we'll see what happens in this one i mean you'd think alabama was gonna win this one another game here the, one of the first double uh reporters here we have our double repeats here AM and florida both have already been on this list this is the same thing kind of for florida it was week one you know if you lose week one to miami this is a good get right game uh with elko on the road both teams are on week one, big games. You know, if they both win, this game becomes exponentially better. If both uh, teams lose this game, it becomes even more important for either team to win and get a bounce back. You know, it's a, it's a first conference game, I'd imagine, for both. Um, AM is a three and a half point favorite on the road. Again, this is one of Florida's closest games. You know, I think they're an underdog in almost every game, right? Except Prairie View, clearly. And then uh, UCF, they might be at a favorite at home. Um, actually, I don't even know if the game's at home away. Just totally guessing. But You'd like to think that they'd probably be able to beat UCF. Who knows? Um, but again, you lose this game and you go to 0 and 2 or 0 and 3 at this point with actually no, 1 and 2 with Florida at this point, and things can get ugly quick, right? This is when you could be like, all right, you lost A and M. You have one more lie in the sand game with the players quit on them with the transfer portal era. It's like, hey, you know, this is week three. I only get four games before I burn a red shirt. Sorry, coach, I'm out for the year type thing. So that's what I'll probably mention in the next video. But we'll see. It's going to be, a, again, a big line in the sand. We'll see what happens type game here. You know, hey, either team wins this game. You know, if you win both of the games you've been featured on, we're really talking serious contender stuff. I mean, imagine if Florida is 2-3-0, and beating A&M at home and Miami. Obviously, both at home, but that's three wins. That win total is like, what, three and a half, four and a half? We're almost there, right? You one or two more upsets on the road, you boom. You know, you're halfway to a bowl game. And if you get to a bowl game with this schedule, I think everyone would be like, hey, you know what? Pat on the back. We'll give Billy another year or two. We'll see what happens. So big one for them there. Um, both coaches, obviously, big first conference game for uh, Mike Elko. And um, finally, we have the Apple Cup, Apple Bowl, Apple Cup, one of the two. Washington at home against Washington State. Jed Fish, Michigan man going up, um, going up, hosting uh, the Washington State Wazoo. Um, at the, what is it, at Lumen Field in Seattle. Uh, they are a seven and a half point favorite at 330 on the Peacock. This is a tough game for sure. I think I would be liking Wazoo with the points right now. Think about if you're Wazoo, you're, you know, you're left. They did the uh, conference expansion uh, musical chairs and you were left without a chair. Everyone sat down as you and Oregon State kind of left out on the outside looking in. You know, are you going to be a Big 12 school? Are you going to be a Mountain West school? Is a Mountain West become the Pac 12? Who knows, right? A lot of things going on. They have so much anger, I'm sure, against Wazoo, uh, against Washington. They all normally do, but this is an extra motivated one, right? They're on the road, you know, sucker punch them early, see what happens. The Civil War is at the exact same time at Fox, Oregon, Oregon State, uh, but obviously with the spread being significantly closer in Washington with their crazy turnover from last year, losing almost every starter on both sides of the ball to the draft or the portal. This is a big statement win for Jed Fish and Will Rogers, or it could be an insane revenge win for Wazoo. And I think all eyes should be on this game. Um, tough because it's Peacock, but you know, maybe you have Peacock left their subscription from uh, a Big Ten entry deal from last year and you've you know auto renewed uh from last year, or you bought it for the Olympics and you're on like a month trial or something and you can sneak this one out. But big game nonetheless, and um, you know, we'll see what happens for sure. Uh, and quick honorary mention because it's next to it, I didn't even write it down Notre Dame at Purdue 330 CBS. It's where top 10 teams go to die is uh, Ross Aid Stadium in West Lafayette. You know, I think a lot of us know that in the Big Ten, so. Um, we'll see what happens in the Apple Cup. I think Wazoo could sneak it up and it could get very quickly ugly for Washington immediately, obviously with a lot of turnover and a big uh, thing for Jed Fish to take care of. But 
you win this game, get the haters off the back, and it's a good rah rah. Let's bump and let's keep going, heading into Big Ten play. So that's what we have for this week and the or this uh, week looking forward. Um, Arizona State or Arizona, Kansas State, LSU, South Carolina, Alabama, Wisconsin, A and M, Florida, and the Apple Cup, um, Washington State at Washington. So yeah, thank you for all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.